So here on the north side, we have two ways of going in or out. Uh, sometimes referred to as the priest's entrance. Again, like we know this. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, you know, uh, we think of theater, we think of drama, and we forget sometimes that that's where we get ceremony and ritual. Or rather, we get those from ceremony and ritual. Ceremony and ritual is meant to have a subjective, powerful impact to it. Uh, having a secret entrance, maybe. Maybe a way for people to suddenly appear or disappear. Well, sure, why not? There are some rituals today in this part of the world, and uh, my experience is limited, but here, here's something I like to share with people. Uh, before a planting period of time, the day before the planting starts, uh, the people go to sleep that night, and then the planters, especially the young ones, who maybe it'll be their first time planting, uh, are woken up like at two or three in the morning. They're not told this. They're taken into a special place, oftentimes a kiva, but not always there. And the priests introduce them to Corn Mother, who's this woman in a totally disheveled, all dirt in her face and hair and everything. And she comes out and she's wagging her finger and admonishing them, this year be better than last year. Doesn't matter how good last year was, you know, it has to be better this year. And as she's talking and really getting into their face, She'll step back, and the priest will come and surround her. So they can't see her, but you can hear her. And when they step back, she's gone. And what you see on the floor is a basket with all of the different color corn pointing in all the right directions, and her voice still emanating from it to do it right this year. Do it better than you did last year. Our lives depend upon it. You know, we're in your hands and all of this. So when, when the young ones especially leave the kiva, it's not like they have been fooled. It's like all of us, when we go to see the magic show, we know that the, uh, you know, the woman didn't get sawed in half, the elephant didn't disappear, but boy, the power of, of allowing ourselves to buy into that uh, impacts us. And so it is with this kind of a ceremony. Maybe this is something to do with that. I don't know.